I wonder what is in your blind spot. Who is suffering in your blind spot for the lack of something that you refuse to give? Some people are nicer to strangers than they are to their own family. How can you say that you love God and hate me? Just because you're gifted and just because you're anointed and just because you're successful doesn't mean you're right. Just because you made a lot of money doesn't mean you're right. You cannot substitute cash for righteousness. If giving him a piece of your mind hadn't worked in the first 15 years, wouldn't it be a good time now to change strategies? Why are we loyal to ineffectiveness? When people can walk away from you, let them walk. When people can walk away from you, let them walk. So impose on yourself the self-development of being in charge, taking charge of your life and your health and your future and your responsibilities and all the rest. Take charge of your health. You're the one that's responsible for it. It's not a requirement of society that you not have a heart attack and take care of your family. That's not a requirement of society, but you must make it a requirement of yourself. Reasonable time is enough time to achieve all of your goals. Just jot that down. Reasonable time is enough time. Here's why. It's not the hours you put in, it's what you put in the hours. The ideas you can't think of now, a year from now, they'll start to flow. And when you deposit those ideas in the hours you've got, productivity multiplies by two, three, five, ten. I don't want you to try to talk another person into staying with you, loving you, calling you, caring about you, coming to see you, staying attached to you. I mean, hang up the phone. When people can walk away from you, let them walk. Tears and struggles and pain, and you show up and you continue to fight on, no matter the circumstances. The ability to learn to say no and not to feel guilty about it, to me, is about the greatest success I have achieved. It's all a part of a process for growing for me. To me, to have the, in, the kind of internal strength and internal courage it takes to say, no, I will not let you treat me this way is what success is all about. I will not be treated this way. I demand only the best for myself. Maybe somebody's talking about you, trying to make you look bad. You could easily be upset, offended, try to pay them back. Why don't you try a different approach? Drop it, leave it, and let it go. It's easy to get bitter, hold a grudge, lose your passion. Kiss the person that left you goodbye. Kiss the dream that didn't work out goodbye. God wouldn't have allowed it to happen if he didn't have something better up in front of you. So part of beginning to get unstuck, you've got to decide that the behavior pattern that you have adopted doesn't work for you. You've got to change your strategies and changing your strategy means reinventing your life. You literally are your surroundings. If you have a problem with your life, you should have a problem with the people in your life. You're going left, and they're going right. You're going right, and then they go left. Recreating you, and you have the power to do that. You can decide that you're going to change, that you're not going to be a wimp. You can decide that you're going to stand up to life. You can decide that I'm going to live each day as if it were my last. You have the power to make that decision. The enemy wouldn't be fighting you if you weren't a threat. Oh, get ready. Favor is about to turn things around. Favor is not going to keep you from the storm, but favor will bring you out of the storm. What do you do when you tried and failed and you want to quit and you want to give up? Sometimes you can be blessed and be unhappy. Because even though things are going right, they're not going according to what you had believed and expected. And you know that something is missing out of your life. Discouragement is born when we compare ourselves with somebody else. Just think about where I came from. Just think about what God started me out as and where I am today. And it's encouraging. 
to not compare yourself with others, but to remember how far you've come and where you started. It's never too late to begin again. No matter what has happened to you in your life, no matter what you've done or what's been done to you, it is never too late to press into a new beginning. In life, you will always be faced with a series of God-ordained opportunities, brilliantly disguised as problems and challenges. Other than death, all failure is psychological does not mean that you won't lose some battles because you will we all will but it does mean that as long as you don't surrender as long as you don't quit then you haven't failed the enemies that you see today you will see them no more no weapon formed against you shall be able to prosper I'm, I'm tired of doing what I used to do. If I always do what I've always done, I'll always be where I've always been. I'm going to throw it behind me.